Breaking news, Bank of America accounts missing. People losing money. One day it's there, next day it's not. Imagine this, you log into your bank account and you find that money is missing. That is what happened to many Bank of America customers yesterday and throughout the day across the United States, they flocked to social media to report those missing funds and unexpected negative balances on their Bank of America accounts. Many are warning that massive bank runs are coming. Do you think it'll happen? Did you think this was gonna happen? It's definitely time to keep both eyes wide open because it's your money that we're talking about. Up-to-date information on this, coming right up. If you guys are brand new here, welcome to our awesome community where we do emergency preparedness videos and prepping how-tos and news that affects you weekly. And if you guys wanna stay up to date on something like that, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. ABC News 13 headline reads, Bank of America issues. Some customers report money missing from their accounts. Chicago, some Bank of America customers said money is missing in their accounts, including funds from Zelle, deposits and transactions. And we'll come back to that. Ray Garcia has trusted Bank of America with his money for 20 years. But like a lot of us, a lot of us have been with our banks for a while, but the banks are in a bad place right now. But when he noticed a problem happening to others, he went to check his own account. In quotes, he said, I was surprised, like, whoa. Garcia said, so I checked all my transactions. I had like 15 different Zelle transactions. That was like a red flag for me right there because I don't remember doing all that in one day. That'd be a shocker, right? That'd rattle your cage. He said almost $700 went missing from his account. He called customer service with no luck getting a representative. Isn't that great when you need to talk to someone and then they just don't answer your call, especially when you have money missing. And that's not the only problem. Like he says here, Garcia tells ABC 13, he has pending transactions scheduled to come out Thursday for his bills. So what happens to his bills not getting paid when that money isn't there? And what happens to his credit? Just a lot of trickle effect that's gonna come from this. And that's all in hopes that he gets his money back. And, that, and it's not just him, a lot of people, it's busting out over social media right now with one guy on Twitter saying, what's going on over there? Accounts overdrawn, exclamations and question marks. Another one said, where's my money? Account negative. Well, wait till people start noticing that their money isn't there. Any of you that have been watching my channel for a while, this is another reason why I partnered up with Genesis Gold Group because first it starts with your accounts, right? And then what happens to your retirement or your 401k and all that? So remember, the phone call's free. And I know Jonathan personally, he's a good guy. Calling just to get more information and education on how to back your investments with real gold. Real gold. And I'm talking about the stuff that could actually be sent to your house. It may be for you or not. But screenshot this phone number and make the phone call if that's for you. So the article goes on. Some filler stuff, some more testimonials. And in reference to the bank they're telling ABC 13 Houston that they've been told to call customer service, but they can't get through to any representatives on the phone. So they showed up in person. In quotes, he said, has the entire phone customer service team been fired? Question. I have been trying to reach anyone through the helpline for 20 minutes with no luck. Even the fraud line is down, a customer tweeted. Like I've told you in previous videos, the banking system right now is uncertain in these vulnerable times. So the buzz out there, some people just blaming it on the Zelle app. Not necessarily true. Check this out. According to Zelle support, an account, the Zelle app and network are up and running as one of our partner banks, Bank of America, is in full control of the Zelle feature in their app. We do not have access to profiles, payments, or records of those associated with them. So how can you blame it on the app when Bank of America is in full control? They blamed a technical glitch with the financial transaction provider Zelle, but Zelle is passing the buck to Bank of America. They say this issue was not the result of any issues with the Zelle network. Robin? That'd be scary. All right, thank you so much, Rebecca. Let's hear what the Senator of Massachusetts says. 
Senator Elizabeth Warren called on both Banks of America and Zelle to assist their customers, tweeting, Bank of America and Zelle are apparently failing customers again with money somehow disappearing from their accounts. This should be fixed immediately and the customers should be compensated. I've called out serious fraud issues on Zelle and their latest failure. So you see the possible angle of attack. They're going to blame it on Zelle, the third party app. But then Zelle says Bank of America has all the control. So how many customers does Bank of America have? Bank of America currently has approximately 67 million consumer and small business customers in the United States. Zelle users are projected to hit 61.1 million in 2022, according to the Insider Intelligence. Zelle, a peer-to-peer -peer payment network, is owned by Early Warning Services LLC, which it itself is owned by Bank of America, Capital One, JP Morgan Chase, and PNC, Troost, US Bank, and Wells Fargo. All the banks I have warned caution in previous videos. So like I said, when the banks own the app that they're blaming for all the shortcomings, so is that where it's gonna go? Just blame your own little companies that are under your own umbrella? Keep an eye on that, guys. So Bank of America accounts missing, people losing money. And as I said, many people are warning that bank runs are coming. Whether or not this is just a hiccup or this is a sign of what's to come, the best thing you guys could probably be doing is diversifying a little bit. It's always been recommended to have a little nest egg set aside at home in case something crazy happens. And some people find their security in gold, which is on the rise right now and tons of countries are buying it up. It might not be for everybody, but the thing is, is to make a plan on protecting your money because we don't know what's coming and you don't wanna to come to find out that you were just a sitting duck waiting for it to smack you in the face. So I know a lot of you guys out there are probably Bank of America customers. Hopefully you're not one of the people that reported your money disappearing. Keep both eyes wide open and keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.